What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Electric Productions. I'm Jay, and I'm bringing you another game today. Three, three games in a row today. And this one's called Zandu. Zandu is a MOBA title. And I might be saying Zandu wrong, and I apologize if I am, but uh, yeah, to the best of my knowledge, Zandu. Zandu is a MOBA game, but it's not just any MOBA. Oh no, no, no. This is a MOBA game with VR support. And what that means to me is, it's going to be a really cheap game that's made really poorly that they're trying to sell simply off the fact that it's VR. But let's see if I'm wrong, and let's hope that I am. So, first thing we're going to do is let's take a quick look at the options here. Okay, so I've got different portraits that I can click through there and utilize as my character portrait. I really like that one. Help. Kill enemy soldiers to gain points. Killing the enemy creatures. And the enemy hero will award a large amount of points. When the team's energy bar is full, two mechs will spawn. They will appear on both sides of the map. To activate the mech, destroy, remove the enemy towers. Okay. Once the enemy tower is destroyed, you can destroy the enemy base. Very cool. Typical MOBA. Oh, that's all the options there are, huh? Oh, dear. Okay. I kind of hoped that there was some uh, different, maybe, graphical options or whatever, but nope. Find a game. Let's see who's playing. No one. Surprise, surprise. I would like to join no one, but I think it'd be pretty futile. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a game here. I can't seem to change the number of people playing. And let's go ahead and choose a character here. I've got this Adonis looking dude, scantily clad female A, and scantily clad female B, with fox ears. And then there's this dude who just looks awesome. Look at the hair, the teeth, the eyes, this undead lord with his giant weapon on his back. What is that weapon? And it's a large hand. Okay, so let's jump right in. Oh, what, can I change settings here? No, I, I, I can't. That's it, we've got one arena. Okay, um, we've chose our hero. Let's, let's start this puppy up. <laughs> see what we got okay right away a yin yang <sighs> I hope this doesn't come across offensive anyway but I don't feel like this game could be any more like Asian <laughs> it just you got a, a creature with a large detached arm as his weapon uh, we've got yin yangs in the beginning here uh, fox girls like it's just I don't know <laughs> But actually, I think this actually just got some English localization because most of the Steam page, too, uh, looked like it was in a different language. So so I really like the big uh, rings in the sky there that are rotating. I think that's pretty cool. One of the things that strikes me right away, most MOBAs, as you know, or don't know, have lanes. And kind of the point of a MOBA is to control those lanes. And as you control the lanes and do damage to the enemy's towers, uh, you're able to finally get to their main base and take it down, and your opponent is trying to stop you and take down your towers. And lane control is everything. This game doesn't have lanes. <laughs> it's got two lanes, actually. Uh, there's two lanes. They're right next to each other, though. Dragons are pretty cool. That's neat. But I'm also struck by the fact that uh, there's no hit detection for the enemies. Like, there's no way for me to tell if I'm actually damaging... Ooh, nice... Nice hit on the dragon there. He, like, went flying. I think that was my dragon that did that. I know it would probably be a little better in VR because you could look around easily, but if you're not playing in VR, just know that it's it's a little difficult to see um, the enemy's HP bars. And there's no way to know if you're hitting the enemies because, again, they don't really, really, they don't react to your hits. Like, it's just hard for me to tell if I'm actually doing damage or not. I assume that I am. Wow, that is crazy OP. So if you hit the left and the right mouse button uh, together, this little twirling thing that arm does just does a just a ton of damage. Dang, look at that. I'm gonna try what does B do? Nothing. I've got a controller here. I'm gonna hit B to see if it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, okay. I can dig it. So this might be a little bit better to control 
with the um, the controller. Because for some reason the on-screen keys don't seem to do anything. But I can actually jump here with the controller, which is nice. And I can do a lot more attacks, it appears. I'm already to the enemy's tower, so let me get in here and try to wreak some havoc on these guys. There's no music. There's some really loud noises. Oh, and apparently I died because I just straight up respawned back at the base. Fair enough. Should I help these guys out? Let's do it. Let's be that. Let's be that guy. I'm getting some slowdown here, which is really surprising. I'm running on a 980 uh, Ti. Man, that is like really. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the deal with the uh, if you click in the right joystick, you can change the camera angle a little bit. But you got to hold it in. I think. Okay, that's zoomed in. Can I zoom back out, guys? Please let me zoom out. There we go. There we go. That's better. I'm gonna avoid this battle here. Oh, here's the enemy mechs they were talking. This dude is like, is he on his knees? He's on his knees. It's cool. It's fine. He knows. He knows I'm the master. It's all good. Is there a point to you, buddy? Like, do you do anything? Other than just sit there and get wrecked. Get destroyed by my spinning arm of fury. Dude, that move is so awesome. I, I'm not saying like the game is good and that like that move is incredible. I just mean it does a ton of damage. My guy's really getting into it. He got grunts and everything. There we go. Let me, let me suck up this health here. I'm gonna get freaking wrecked before I even get to the, uh, the tower here. So, come on, come on. Almost got it. And boom goes the dynamite. Let's, uh, let's get over here and... Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this? He says yes. Yes, I do, and I will destroy you. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. You want to destroy me? The game's terrible, by the way. That was kind of abrupt, I'm sorry. That was just like, hey, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Oh, by the way, the game's terrible. It's, for a MOBA, there's so many better MOBAs to play. This is pointless. Uh, spoiler alert, I always run these games just to make sure that they actually run okay. I got so bored testing it out that I ran there to the edge of the dunes to see uh, if I could go all the way out, and you can. And when you fall off, you fall forever. There's no end. Like, you don't ever not stop falling. Um, you just continue to fall and fall and fall. And there is no... There's no point where you actually hit and die. So... One thing I think it's actually kind of neat, if you were using a character that utilized... Like, my character can... Um, let me see if I can... Nope, that's not it. That, right there. So I can actually shoot my arm. <laughs> um, and so you could actually, like, hide in this pagoda-like thing and, like, snipe it like enemy players and stuff like that. So that would be useful. I don't even know if you're supposed to be able to get up here. Um, according to the, let me see if I can find the map on the controller here. No, 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 don't take me back to the menu, please. Uh, there, there's the lanes. So you can see me, I'm right here, which doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense. The camera, oh, that's my view, okay. So it does show that this is actually like a, a lane that you can use like up here, kind of, sort of. Um, but there's nothing up here, so you could use it to circumvent other players, and, yeah. Oh, wow, this guy's, like, pretty low. Let's, let's, let's try to snipe a little bit. No, no, that, that wasn't a snipe. Dang it. Got one of my freaking keys here. There we go. <clears throat> so why, uh, fires your, your arm? Uh, 
Um, there's no point to this. Again, I, I said this in I said this in my last video, which was Zombie Nightmare, which is oh gosh, it was so bad. I, that that game made me just oh, it made me so miserable. That that game was horrible. But I said it in that video as well. People are taking bad games, games that just have no creative spark. Um, they even work, like, this game works okay, it's not crashing, I'm not glitching through stuff. I mean, arguably the fact that there's no, like, real major hit detection, um, is, is super annoying and makes the game very difficult to, to play. Uh, but it, it works, it's technically sound. Um, but the fact of the matter is, it's just not a good game. It's just not, there's nothing about this game that's, that's good. Uh, there we go, destroyed it. And they take these subpar games, and then they add VR support to them, thinking that that's going to sell their title. Oh, and it's so lazy. It's so lazy. It's like, hey, we know our game sucks, but look at this. You could look at our sucky game in, like, virtual reality. I don't care. Nobody cares that your game is available in virtual reality. Get wrecked, tower. Boom. So now we're going in for the, uh, the final thrill here. And I'm going to die. It's okay, though. Why don't you soak up some of that uh, health there, buddy? That's so jarring, too. Like, when you die, you just spawn. Like, there's no death animation. There's no nothing. It's just bloop, and you're back at the start. Oh, my gosh. The timer says I've been playing this for 13 minutes. I am so sorry, guys. Like, these uh, MOBAs usually take a little while. I mean, they're not the fastest games in the world. Hello, dragon. I wish I could ride you. That would be awesome. Jump on the dragon, take flight, rain down fire. See what I mean? Like, oh, man. I wish I was uh, technically savvy enough to be able to, uh, to make games. I get it too, like, making games is not easy, which is why we have so many crap games. If it was easy to take your ideas and put them down on, well, digital form in this case, then people would do it. I, I believe that people aren't doing it just because they're necessarily, I mean, they are lazy. But it's not just because they don't care or they don't have any creative spark, it's that it's difficult to get your creative ideas down on, you know, into a game. That's, that's tough to do. I'm going to avoid you completely. Sit here and just wreck, wreck face. Oh, somebody's been working on you already. Look at you. You're, you're down pretty far there, buddy. Feel my hand of fury. Are you going down like quickly here? Like, what's going on? Are you going down? Because I'm about to die. I'd like it to be not for naught, which it just was. And then my favorite part of every MOBA, running back to the fight. Because I'm not good at MOBAs, so I spend most of my time running. Yeah. It's just the truth. I could lie to you, but I'm not good at MOBAs. And it's not even that I hate MOBAs. I don't. Um, it is a chess match that is takes place in digital form and has a lot of fluidity to it. A lot of moving parts. And I respect MOBAs a lot. I'm not very good at them because I lack the patience, it seems, to plan my steps. I don't mind working with teammates, and I don't mind like working in tandem with people and listening to what they have to say and trying to follow it. I just... I'm not the most patient person in the world, unfortunately. But uh, MOBAs are awesome. Like I, I really do think that. I don't... These mechs were supposed to do something, and all they seem to be doing is drawing my uh, mob's attention. That's it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to help these guys out here just to wreck this dude so that we can get into the fight. I mean, there's some nice little animations here, but you can't tell, like, when you're actually... I mean, these mechs are, like, pretty much immobile. They don't really do anything. I actually had hoped this game would be decent. I did. I've been looking for VR games that add non-VR support uh, to the title because I think that there's some really good VR games out there, but then they are VR exclusive. Yay, we win. So, okay. Anyway, what I was trying to say is is that there are VR titles, excuse me, there are VR titles out there that look like they're pretty decent, but then um, they're VR exclusive. And 
I, I get it because, you know, you set it up. It's different than playing with typical mouse and keyboard for the most part. So I've been looking for VR titles that do that nice crossover where you can play it non-VR or VR, depending on what setup you have. So far, what I have found is those titles that cross the boundary between both, saying you can play it in VR or non-VR, they typically suck. I've reviewed a couple now, and they're not very good. They're terrible, actually. Okay, so there we go. That's Zandao. Zandao. I, again, apologize if I'm saying it wrong. I don't, I'm not doing it intentionally. I'm just not savvy enough to be able to say it properly. <sighs> the bottom line is, is that there's a slew of VR games out there that are cashing in on the VR trend gimmick. They're not good games, and they know they're not good games. And so what they do is they tack on that VR support, hoping to tap into that market that is quickly becoming oversaturated with bad games, but for a while there, it was sort of like, hey, wow, VR is new, let's make a game that's VR exclusive or has VR support, and that's going to draw buyers. Well, that, hopefully, that time period is quickly coming to a close here because the market's saturated now with VR titles, and a lot of them are not very good. Um, if you craft a really good game, and then you decide to add VR support, bravo. Everybody's pretty much burned out with Fallout 4 and Skyrim at this point, and I get it, you know, Bethesda's milked these games for all they've got. But that aside, Skyrim's a good game. I mean, it is. We may be burned out with it and ready for something new, but Skyrim is a good game. The fact that they're adding VR support for it is a good thing. It's a good game that's getting VR support, and so it's going to be fun to play it in virtual reality. Um, Yes, again, I know, we're, we're burned out with Bethesda pushing, like, hey, here's survival mode, here's paid DLC, here's VR mode, here's, um, you know, the Redux. Like, right, I get it. But all I'm saying here is, if you've got a good game and you add VR support, bravo. If you've got a bad game and you're like, oh no, our game is terrible, what are we going to do? I know, let's make it a VR game. Bruh. So, this game's not very good. There are lots of great MOBAs out there. MOBAs don't need VR support. I'm not saying that there couldn't be a fun MOBA that has VR support and it wouldn't be like an enjoyable addition to it. I'm just saying that MOBAs are just fine without VR. So if you're buying this game because you're looking for a good MOBA, don't buy it. If you're buying this because you're looking for a MOBA game that has VR support, don't buy it because you're going to be disappointed when you find out that there's nobody playing online. And the solo mode is boring as paint drying. <laughs> Um, but uh, anyway, if this saves some people some money seeing this game and getting to say, wow, this looks awful, uh, then that's why I do what I do. And by the way, in the comment section below, I'm thinking about uh, doing something that's called like uh, Steam First Look or Steam Rapid Fire or Steam Blah 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 because these aren't really full reviews. I'm not taking the game and playing it ad nauseum. I'm getting the game, I'm playing it for a couple of hours, and then I'm bringing you sort of a first look or whatever and uh, giving you guys an idea of what you're getting into. I, I don't want to be dishonest and try to say, oh, this is a full-blown review. I don't exactly know what to call it. I mean, I guess it's a Let's Play First Look Overview I don't know, but if you've got a comment on what you think I should call this, I'd be more than open to getting some uh, some positive feedback on what you think it should be called. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you stopping by. It's always a pleasure and a treat to bring you guys new content and to try to help save you money or direct you towards good games. And I look forward to seeing all of you guys on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>